They say that a picture is worth a thousand words, and since the first camera was invented, it's been estimated that over 12.4 trillion photos have been taken throughout history. Many of these, however, have been lost to time, but occasionally someone will find an old photo album that was thought to be lost to time. During the early 18 and 1900s, explorers were making their way to untouched lands, documenting their discoveries along the way. Some of the most famous explorers include that of Percy Fawcett, who disappeared back in 1925 while on an expedition to find the mysterious lost city of Z. It's been theorised that various explorers have lost their way while searching for these theoretical cities, and most didn't end up in the history books due to lack of information. Interestingly, these photographs were recently shared to social media, with the uploaders saying that they had found this old photo album, and that it documented an explorer's expedition into an unknown region. As the man was flicking through the album though, he noticed that the explorer must have stumbled upon an uncontacted civilization, as the photographs appear to show people wearing strange tribal looking outfits, and noting that their overall appearance doesn't match that of an early explorer's. The man said it's an incredible album, and could prove that the explorers discovered something amazing. The man who wished to be referred to as Mr. Williams, told me I could share the photographs and was quoted as saying the following. My father and I renovate old properties, and on this particular occasion I was cleaning out a property that I had purchased. Inside the house was an old library that was deteriorated, and although it sounds grand the place was a mess. Old books were scattered across the floor and there were numerous illustrations that were dated before the 1960s so it makes me think that the previous owner was a collector of some sorts. One of the books we found lying on the floor had these strange photographs that seemed to depict an explorer's journey into the jungle. The photographs are amazing, and the album starts with these tall trees that appear to be embedded inside a river, or an area that is prone to flooding, something you would expect to see inside a jungle. The next photo in the album is what appears to be a clearing with what might be a boat. I'm not sure if those are people in the foreground or part of the foliage. The next image is what looks like a hut of some sort, although it could be something that was naturally created by the trees, but in my opinion it looks like this was constructed. This photograph is the only one that shows the explorers, or what could be the explorers. There's no indication to how many ventured into this region, but this could be proof that it was actually a couple who went on this expedition, although at the moment this is just a theory. This is where things get interesting, as this photograph shows someone that doesn't look like the explorers. The individual in question has broad features, looks to be wearing weathered clothes, a necklace possibly made from a string or vines, and appears to have a broader frame than most people during this era. This could just be someone who looks different to modern day people. After all, it's not uncommon for tribes to take part in activities that changes their appearance. This could be what we're seeing here. This for me is also the most interesting photograph out of all of them, and it really makes me wonder how many other uncontacted tribes are out there waiting to be discovered. This individual doesn't show up again, but there's other images of potential tribe members. This next photograph shows another person who could have been encountered in the same area, although upon looking closer it looks like this person is much slimmer, and appears to have tribal painting on the upper portion of their body. This image is incredibly impressive, although I'm not sure what it shows, I imagine there's wildlife enthusiasts who could help to explain what type of tree this could be, but with the dark cloud line behind it, this makes it look like it should be in a movie. This photograph shows the trees from another angle, with again the water being seen at the base. This makes me think that this photograph was captured in the same air as the previous ones I mentioned. What's interesting about this one as well is that there appears to be wildlife flying close to the trees, 
These could be birds or bats as I know these live in dense jungles. This is another close-up of some trees, which could have been taken in the same air as the others. These images could depict some of the local wildlife. I know that the forests and jungles of our world are home to some incredibly rare animals, especially birds, so perhaps this is a bird that hasn't been documented before. For some reason I get the impression that this bird would be very colourful. There's a few others in the album that depict other creatures and the local vegetation, but I think the ones that I shared gives you a good idea of what the explorers encountered during their journey. End quote. The photographs make for a fascinating story, and if genuine beautifully depict what these early explorers encountered while on their expedition. Doing a reverse image search doesn't bring anything up. Although these photographs are interesting and show what appears to be a civilization lost to time, other users suggested that they were created. Regardless, there's many who've said that we haven't explored every area on our planet, and that each year thousands of creatures along with uncontacted communities are being discovered, showing us that we still have much to learn about this place that we call home. There's a reason that the jungles of our world are one of the most heavily studied areas. The wealth of undiscovered knowledge and secrets that lie hidden beneath the vines and branches is seemingly endless, and every day it seems that more and more amazing findings are revealed. One such discovery is the Pyramids of the Amazon. For years now, historians and archaeologists who've studied the Amazon rainforest have long said that the area was once the location of vast settlements, being habited by locals who managed to use the region to their advantage. With the introduction of LIDAR technology, it's allowed scientists to unravel some of these mysteries, and has helped us to uncover settlements that were previously unknown. For those unaware, LIDAR uses the pulses from a laser to collect measurements, and this in turn then creates 3D models and maps of objects and environments. This tool has become extremely useful in recent years, helping scientists and archaeologists map out areas that were previously unreachable, and this is exactly what happened in the Amazon rainforest. Percy Harrison Fawcett dedicated his research to exploring South America and looking for a lost Amazonian city before he went missing in 1925. The expedition during which Fawcett went missing was on his search for Z, the name given to an ancient lost city he and others believe was tucked away in the jungles of Brazil. We never found out exactly how the quest for Z went. Did Fawcett find evidence of the city or not? While we might never be able to answer that question, we can indeed draw closer to finding out where cities may have fallen in the Bolivian Amazon. In 2022, scientists uncovered pyramids and canals sitting beneath the forest. Of course, the trees and greenery can obstruct an aerial view, though LIDAR technology has facilitated researchers' ability to see through these trees and reveal hundreds of structures and settlements. These discoveries have overwhelmingly been found to have come from the Kasrabe culture of 500 to 1400 AD. Lidar is a relatively new development that has proven to be invaluable in the field of archaeology. In this study, it allowed researchers to move through the dense rainforest and make the discovery of the pyramids, canals and what seemed to be town-like civilizations from long before invaders arrived. In this expedition, scientists from Germany and the UK used helicopters fitted with light detection in order to search through six regions of Bolivia. The Colorado State University archaeologist Chris Fisher said the following, This is the first of what I hope will be a huge series of studies that will blow the lid of preconception about what pre-Hispanic politics looked like, especially in the Amazon in terms of their complexity, size and density. The development of technology will continue to let us explore, discover and revolutionise our understanding slowly changing the world as we know it. Surprising as it may sound, 
There are still countless tribes which our modern civilizations have never contacted for a number of reasons. The first is that they might just be hidden within the vastness of the Amazon. Alternatively, even when we're aware of a secluded tribe, making contact is not always the best solution. These people have isolated from the rest of us for hundreds if not thousands of years. We could easily give them diseases, and this could devastate their communities, something that we don't want to happen especially since they've survived for hundreds of years. Brazil has an indigenous foundation called FUNAI, who specialise in protecting and researching the various tribes of the Amazon. Most of the time, uncontacted tribes are found in clearings on satellite images taken from space. The Amazon is a huge landmass, and therefore it's only natural that there are countless tribes still unknown to us, most of which lie in the most remote corners of the rainforest. Farnai's regional coordinator Fabrizio Amorim confirmed one such tribe's existence after planes were sent to fly over the area and check whether the satellite images they were spotted on were correct, and it turns out they were. The area seen by pilots and satellites revealed four huts with roofs made of straw, surrounded by tall banana trees in the midst of thick jungle landscapes. It's thought that the population of the tribe contains around 200 members. Although contact has not been made, their language is assumed to be a variant of the Pano-linguistic family. Fanai reports that the tribe lies on the borders of Bolivia, Peru and Brazil. The area itself is officially referred to as the Vale do Javira, and that this tribe is not alone in being uncontacted. Until relatively recently, many tribes were unknown about. Fabricio claims that the Vale do Javari has the largest number of uncontacted communities in the world. He also spoke of Fano's concerns with the future survival of these tribes, as our ever-advancing world is constantly changing and bringing new threats to their existence. The organisation has recognised 14 tribes in the Vale de Javari that have yet to be contacted by our outside world. An estimated 2,000 people or so reside in them, it's highly possible that there's a myriad of tribes not yet known in the thickness of the Amazon jungle. As it stands, Brazilian officials try to limit any opportunities for making contact with these tribes, aiming instead to research them from afar. And yet, with the many rising problems, there is a chance we will have no choice but to contact them to warn them of impending problems. So watch you make these interesting discoveries and announcements. Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.